Hey, it's Kim. Thanks so much for joining me on today's video where I'm going to be talking about goal setting, specifically for a new year. I do have a few other videos on my channel all about goals and I'll link them down below for you so you can check those out if you'd like to. But today I'm going to be talking about goal setting for a new year. If that sounds good to you, let's get into it. All right, so goal setting can be a bit of a tricky subject. Sometimes, well not sometimes, all the time, very personal. You kind of have to take personal stock of what you want, what you don't want, what you need, what you don't need, all of those things. So today I'm going to kind of walk you through my process of setting goals, especially for a new year, in hopes that maybe it can help you too. So where do we start? Normally, I think beginning the process by considering what you want your future self to be is extremely helpful. It kind of paints a picture of how you can get to this future version of yourself. To get to my best Kim, you know, these are the things that I need to do or this is what my best Kim looks like. Let's establish that first. So what does your future self look like? What do you do? What do you prioritize? Those are the types of thoughts and ideas that help you define and determine what your goals are going to be for the year. It helps us to assess what we need to focus on to get to where we need to be. So you could think of it in terms of what did future Kim do in order to get to where she is? What things did she prioritize? And once those goals are defined, we break those up further into the action steps needed to get there. I will say that goals differ in my mind, in my brain, I don't know if you agree, let me know, but goals differ from resolutions because I often find that resolutions don't come with action steps, or at least we don't attach any type of action steps to actually accomplish those resolutions. They're normally like open-ended wishes or open-ended ideas of what we would like to do, but they, but we don't therein define how we're going to get there. It's all about action when it comes to setting goals. And that's the difference between resolution. Because if you don't define any kind of actions or any type of uh, priorities or objectives, how then do you hold yourself accountable? How do we measure success? How do we determine, you know, if we did a good job or not? We need all of those things in place to actually accomplish the goals that we set out for ourselves. All right, so now that we know where to start, there are a few considerations that I like to keep in mind. And these things may pertain to me. Maybe you can relate. I don't know. But sometimes I find that I can be a little... Um, aggressive <laughs> or uh, a little advantageous I'm not sure of the word that I'm looking for but I'm just very excited about setting these goals and ambitious that's the word so I can be a little bit too ambitious when it comes to setting my goals and that just is a recipe for disaster because if I set for myself 89 goals that I want to complete for the year and I only get to 82 then I'm gonna be disappointed in myself or upset when in reality, accomplishing 82 goals is probably ridiculous. <laughs> it's probably too much anyway. So what I like to do, or, or the way I like to think of it, I like to think of it in terms of, I guess, how a project manager might set out to plan a project. So my goal or my objective is to plan it out in 12-week sprints, so they're called. Um, if you're familiar with this type of thing, then you know where I'm going. So in this 12 week, or it could be 16 weeks, I haven't fully determined just yet, but in this 12 week block of time, we kind of create mini goals to accomplish. We kind of set up our mini markers to determine where we should be by the time this 12 weeks ends. And then at the end of that 12 weeks, we will assess to see if the goal is still the same, if we need to adjust some things, if what we're doing is right and is working, or if it isn't. So we break this larger 365 day goal into smaller sprints that we can focus on and we can really hone in on the objectives that we plan to accomplish during that time period. And let me know, I do use the word objective and I know that objective 
pretty much is the same definition as a goal, but I like to think of them a little bit different. So maybe the goal is the whole umbrella, and then under that goal, there are some mini goals to complete, and I call those my objectives. Those are the aims or those are my intentions that I want to establish for that particular goal. So breaking the goal into two to three mini goals that you can accomplish over that 12 week sprint makes it feel a lot more attainable. The next thing I like to do or like to consider when establishing my goals is I want to avoid being very granular about the goals. So for me, I know that establishing or setting like a daily goal that reaches a larger goal probably won't work. Not probably. It just won't work for me. Like I can't do something every single day. It would drive me bananas only because I am I feel like I'm forcing myself to do it every single day or I'm telling myself I have to but if it's something I like to do and I'm just gonna do it every single day it won't be a problem <laughs> but I know that if I set this up as a goal in my brain it's gonna feel so much more like I have to do it every day for instance if I have the goal of writing a book by the end of the year I don't know and I tell myself I need to write three paragraphs every single day it's not gonna happen it's not gonna happen and then if let's say I skip Tuesday and I don't write my three paragraphs on Tuesday by Wednesday I'm feeling overwhelmed because I feel like now I have to write six paragraphs I have to make up for Tuesday and I have to do Wednesday's paragraphs it's just a recipe for disaster <laughs> I will spiral and spiral out of control and the goal will not get met instead I can and this works for me this is just how my brain works but instead instead of saying I'll do three paragraphs a day for seven days that's what 21 paragraphs for the week I'll just say to myself my goal is 20 paragraphs for the week however I get it done is how I get it done if I write five paragraphs on Monday skip Tuesday and then write six paragraphs on Wednesday you know as long as I get to that 20 paragraph goal that I've set for myself it feels a lot more attainable um, since I'm not forcing myself to focus on that same thing every single day it just kind of gives me a bit of a break or a bit of a rest and I think that is a good segue to get into the third consideration that I like to keep in mind when I'm setting up goals for a new year I need rest I need recovery I need to schedule in breaks actual breaks where I'm not thinking about these goals I'm not focusing on them I'm not doing anything so I spoke about sprints imagine if we set the week up or the year up to focus on sprints that are well if you do 12 week sprints four 12 week sprints over the year that's technically 48 weeks so then you do have an extra four weeks to do nothing or an extra four weeks where you're not super focused on your goals so that can mean you do 12 weeks of goal work and then one week of rest and recovery we're not talking about goals we're not thinking about goals nothing then that helps us prepare and get into the next 12 week sprint that we want to accomplish so I know that for me it's good to schedule in those breaks and during those breaks is when I assess if what I'm even doing is working you know if I get so caught up in going back to the book uh, example if I get so caught up in writing these three paragraphs every single day and maybe I get into a good groove and I'm able to do it over like a four month period. By the time the end of the four months come, what if I go back and I read what I've uh, written and I'm like, this is all garbage. <laughs> so, you know, maybe I want to schedule in those breaks a little bit beforehand so that I can really assess if what I set out to do is even working. How do I know? A lot of times when we're setting goals, it's to do things that we've never done before. So we have to give ourselves a little bit of grace, you know, maybe we won't get it right the first time, but we need to schedule in those opportunities to really look back and assess if what we're doing is working and if it's working in the way that we want it to. Okay, so those are the three considerations I like to keep or take into account when setting up my goals for the new year and I've set up my goals for the year and I'll walk you through it and like I said I know that goals can be personal as they should be they're about you they're only for you you don't have to share them with anyone because always someone's gonna have a, a an issue with a goal that you've established for yourself not that it affects them but they're gonna have something to say 
but goals are your own they are very personal um, but I don't mind sharing mine or a little bit about mine because I do truly feel like it'll help inspire others to understand how to create goals for themselves sometimes we hear about goal setting and you know plotting out all of this stuff and it can seem very intimidating or like like you have to take it so super seriously when maybe you don't need to maybe you don't want to maybe that just doesn't fit your personality so tailoring this goal setting process to a way that works best for you can guarantee you the most success all right so for my goals I do have six goal categories normally um, this year I thought about removing one but I've decided to leave it in but kind of not maybe focus on it as much as I did previously. I'm not sure where that's going to go. We'll see how it works. But my six categories are spiritual, relationships, and that is primarily family and friend relationships, making sure that I foster those and help those to grow. There's health and fitness. Um, I want to remain active and maybe hit some physical goals that I might have. There's oh there's personal development this is a goal that I really love to have because it encompasses all of my hobbies and all of the things that I really like to do they help to develop him as a person as a person so that's my personal development goal I also like to strive to learn new things maybe take some courses and some classes so that's my personal development goal there's a finance goal and this one changes every year so last year it was all about um, establishing you know building up savings accounts different types of savings accounts this year I want to focus more on um, investment accounts and retirement accounts so that's the goal for or that's the focus for the finance goal for this coming year and then the last one is business so it, this is the one where I wasn't sure if I was going to keep it in or not um, I'm not even sure how I want to track it if I'm going to just track it in a separate um, type of system entirely we'll see but I haven't fully defined what the business goal is but I do think I want to focus on um, increasing my streams of income so if you're like in the world today <laughs> we know that it's very important to have multiple streams of income just because you don't know you don't know what's gonna happen who knows so I want to increase and focus on adding alternate streams of income and preferably those types of streams of income that I don't have to do a lot of work for but that's a completely different video so I don't know how those business goals will shake out over the course of the year or even before the year begins but those are my six goal categories so I created some inserts for myself to use in my companion planner. I talked about my companion planner in one of my recent videos going over my 2022 planner lineup. So you can see that there. But there is a goal section in the companion planner fully devoted to my goals for the year. So I created some inserts to help guide me through defining what those goals are defining the objectives splitting it out over you know the the weeks periods and all that other stuff so i'm going to walk you through how i set all of that up and how i'm going to try to organize it for the entire year before the start of the year hopefully before the start of the year if this weren't completed until like march of next year so what they're still my goals they're gonna happen <laughs> i can make it happen but i'll walk you through how i'm going to go through all of the inserts to kind of plot out what the master plan should be All right, again, this is my companion planner. This is the Giglio Personal Wide in Burgundy. Um, and I'll link the planner lineup video down in the description and up in the cards. But we'll flip right to my goal section in here. And I'll, I'll be doing an in-depth flip of this planner soon. So you'll be able to catch that eventually, <laughs> maybe in the next couple of weeks. I should be doing it in the next couple of weeks. But this is my goal section. And here's where I have all of the um, inserts that I created to help me work through all of the goals that I want to accomplish for the year. So I have a, I'll actually show you. So I have a goal worksheet and this is what I'm going to be completing for each goal. So I do have, like I said, six goal categories. Um, so I've printed out enough worksheets for each 
and this covers what the goal is the outlook for that goal and that goes along with my future self <laughs> showing my future self the objectives or the mini goals within that that I want to accomplish and then any related projects so any projects related to that goal some goal categories have sub projects some don't but I just wanted to include that spot there just in case so that's that one I'll leave this out because I'm gonna complete that and then the next one I have is a monthly goal plan and the way I set this up is to have a spot for each of the six goals that I have or each of the six goal categories and then um, each column defines a weekly focus so week one week two week three week four so for each of the weeks what I might want to focus on pertaining to that specific goal and then down at the bottom I have a section for this month's priorities and an action plan if there are deadlines associated with any of the things that I've set out to complete for the month however after I put this together I thought more about how this could actually apply to the sprints that I have planned or that I've thought about because if I did a 16 week sprint that would give me three over the course of the year and in each of those there would be four months so this could be instead of for a week one focus should be a month one focus month two month three month four and then I'll assess what the priority is for the sprint any action plans for it and any deadlines I think that's what I'm gonna do um, anytime I do make inserts for myself I kind of get the idea make them and print them because I need things to be pretty <laughs> in order to use them so I do make them print them use them and then determine if they're actually going to work so that's why I have this like this but I think I'm going to switch this to focus more on the sprints I'm thinking so that's the second one and the third insert and I have enough of three of these for the year oh and so the third insert is a goal check-in so this is kind of well it's what it says it's a check-in so I'm reviewing how everything is going this is something I could see myself doing monthly because I actually did it previously um, especially when I had the when I was using the Wonderland 222 I have a video about that system as well which I really loved and it had a monthly review page and a monthly overview page and I would use my monthly review page to review the goals that I had set out for the month and to see how I was doing so this is something I could see myself doing monthly whereas this this plan is something I feel like this is too much for me to do monthly I don't know why I think that I just think well I know my brain and it's probably I'm not gonna do this every month so I think I'll, I'll switch this to be able to do um, every few weeks or every several weeks and then this is something I could definitely do at the end of each month that would be a lot of inserts though if you think about it because if I'm using one for each goal or maybe I don't even need to use one of these for each goal I could kind of like group a few goals onto one insert but I think this is what I'm gonna do every month so this check-in insert um, it has a section for observations like what have I noticed that's going on general observations and then it gets it breaks it down a little further for me to define what is working what isn't working then I have a progress tracker um, this is my first time trying something like this so we'll see if I like it or how I like it um, I can kind of like mark in how far along I am on those measurable goals and then down at the bottom there's a section to define areas improve of improvement so where I can improve to make sure or to change things to make sure that I complete the goal so that is um, what all of these inserts consist of and I do really think they'll help me to organize my thoughts around the goals that I have planned for this year um, someone suggested this but I don't know if anyone's interested in these inserts I might make them available we'll see I do technically have an Etsy shop um, it's not currently open <laughs> but if anyone's interested let me know I would be willing to offer this bundle um, along with any improvements I make for a couple dollars we'll see I should say a few dollars couple and plus two few a bit more so <laughs> let me know if anybody's interested down below so let me move this out of the way 
so we can get into defining the goals and we'll just start right at the top so I've already gone through all of my goals I wrote this down on my um, tablet actually I wrote it down took some notes all of that other stuff um, so now I'm going to hash it out on a piece of paper so that's what I'll be referencing as I'm going through this all right so we'll just start at the top my first goal like I said is for um, is a spiritual goal so overall I could say that the objective is to become closer to God um, and then you're like well what exactly does that mean so this is my spiritual goal and what does that mean to become closer to God or at least what does that mean for me you know, it's different for all of us, especially if you don't even believe in God. <laughs> you know, it's, it's different for all of us. So my spirituality goal focus on God focuses on God. I am a Christian. So, you know, I hold all those Christian beliefs. So that's what my spirituality goal encompasses. So to become closer to God, I would say future Kim is a person who prioritizes my um, devotional time. I like to do it in the morning, but sometimes that doesn't happen. You know, we all have busy schedules, and if I can't do it in the morning, it normally gets skipped, but I don't want to skip it anymore. So I really want to prioritize it a bit better. Um, I also want to spend more time reading the Bible. That's something that I feel like, you know, a Kim who is closer to God would read the, her Bible a lot more. So that would be the next um, outlook for this spirituality goal. And then another one I have is to increase overall Bible knowledge. Um, the Bible goes into a lot of things, a lot of stories, a lot of um, principles, all of that good stuff. I don't know everything. <laughs> you know, I, I don't think any of us actually know everything, but I would like to know more. And I think the pursuit of further knowledge can't hurt at all. So that's another thing that I want to prioritize for this year. So now that I've defined um, the outlook for my spirituality goal or what the future Kim looks like in relation to this goal, um, some objectives associated with that outlook could be or are um, scheduling my daily devotional time. I do know that I'm a scheduler, I'm a planner, and if I have something on my schedule, I'm more likely to accomplish it. So that is something I'd like to do. I think it would really help me get closer to this goal. Another objective would be um, for Bible studies. So we are still doing church or holding church virtually. Uh, since 2020 and as a result we don't have those in-person Bible study classes or courses going on so last year I actually did buy a few I probably bought more than a few <laughs> with the hopes that I would you know uh, follow them myself or even invite others to do them with me I haven't started well I did start two of them already but I haven't really gotten into many of them so this year I do want to focus on those Bible studies and however that evolves if that's just me doing it by myself if it's me inviting others to join I don't know but that is one of the objectives and that will help me to read the Bible more and that'll also help me to increase my biblical knowledge so that would be another objective um, another one that I want to do and I don't even know. So, see, I'm using this form and I feel like I need to not have this second column. And these just need to go straight across because I don't have enough space. <laughs> so, but another thing that I want to do, um, another objective related to the spirituality goal is to read the Bible in chronological order. I think, not I think, I know a lot of us Christians will read the Bible 
um, cover to cover over, you know, the course of a year. There are so many plans out there, reading plans out there to do just that, which is extremely helpful in just increasing your knowledge about the Bible and everything. But I do have a Bible study that talks about things in chronological order because the way that the actual book of the Bible is, or the books of the Bible are laid out, are not in chronological order. So reading it in order, I think would be um, very interesting for me. So that's one of my other objectives for this spirituality goal for the year. So related to this goal, um, I don't have any projects that are directly related to it, but who knows if there are projects that could develop. So like I said, we're doing church virtually at the moment, but imagine if I wanted to set up some kind of virtual Bible study. So that would be another project of kind of organizing that and seeing, you know, how we can make that work. That could be a related project. It's not right now, but I could always update it. So that is how I would fill out this goal worksheet for myself for the coming year. So I'll put that back in. And then I think I'm going to do exactly what I said for this monthly goal plan. I'm going to switch it from monthly to quarterly or no. If it's three a year, it's like try a trimester. Whatever. I'll switch that over for that. And then I do think for these, um, where are they? The goal check-ins, I'll do those monthly. I'm pretty sure that will be a part of my goal process, a part of my monthly planning process anyway, but a part of my goal process. Why isn't this flipping? Okay. So that's what I'm pretty sure I am going to do. And I'm going to update these inserts so that they work a little bit better for me. Oh, and FYI, I'm still going to use the ones that say monthly goal check. And I'm still going to use the ones that have <laughs> the two columns. I'm not going to waste this or anything. But that's how I would update it. All right, so those are my goals. I'm going to go through and work through the rest of them. Um, maybe I'll do that here on the camera. But we don't, I don't necessarily, I'm not going to talk through them. But yeah, let me do the rest of the goals while I'm sitting here anyway. I also think maybe I want some lines up there at the top. I like lined paper so that I can make sure I'm writing straight. Oh, and for this relationship goal, I actually do have a related project. So I want to do these memory keeping books for my kids. And it's something I started, still haven't finished, but I feel like that um, correlates or corresponds to the relationship goal that I have set up for myself. And it's about building stronger family structures and something like that could be very helpful because we can always do it together. Alright, so my goals are all filled in. I'm feeling like I'm ready to tackle this new year and these new goals for the year. So I'm already all the sheets are filled in and I have a plan laid out for how I'm going to accomplish all of my goals. So I'm really excited. So tell me, what about you? What goals do you have planned for the coming year? Um, do you have like a solid goal setting process you know for yourself or are you like me and always looking for ways to improve let me know down in the comments let's talk about it tell me some of your tips tell me if you found any of these tips helpful also please don't forget to give this video a like and if you have anything on instagram tag me on instagram if you're over there talking about goals as well thank you so much for watching today's video don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one